Welcome to Chelsea Sport Update. Chelsea I £54 million Thiago Silva successor as Frank Lampard explains Blues progress the latest Chelsea news as the Blues consider Sebastian Wallachiewicz as Thiago Silva's successor and Brazilian club Fluminense I a return to South America for the defender. Here is your Chelsea Morning Digest for Thursday December 11. Chelsea are reportedly eyeing Sebastian Wallachiewicz as the successor to Thiago Silva in the heart of their defence. The Blues signed Silva on a free transfer in the summer, and the 35-year-old has impressed, forming an excellent partnership with Kurt Zoma. However, a long-term solution to the defensive vulnerabilities of last season is required, and Italian publication Corriere dello Sport via the Mirror reports that Wallachiewicz has been identified. The Colliery star recently signed a long-term contract and will reportedly cost £54 million. Still only 20 years old, however, he has also attracted interest from Liverpool, Manchester United, and Inter Milan. Fluminense manager issues Silva transfer plea Fluminense manager Marçal revealed that he is keen on bringing Silva back to Brazil. Silva came through the Fluminense academy and played for the first team before signing with AC Milan in 2009. Marçal, who even played alongside Silva, revealed that the Chelsea star said he would come to assist him. Right on time, he Silva, saw the message and said, I'm going there to assist you, Marçal said in a press conference on Wednesday, as reported by Globo Esporte. I said, hey. Not as an assistant, come to play here, come to help us, you'll be very welcome. A great affection, we exchange messages every day. Somehow, we help out there. And in the same way, he helps here. God willing, soon he'll be here with us too, being able to help on the pitch. Frank Lampard on Chelsea changes Chelsea endured one of their most underwhelming performances of the season against Everton around this time last year. Now up against the Toffees once again, Frank Lampard explained the changes his team has made during the past 12 months. I think we've progressed, he said. It was an experience for the players, one we didn't handle well on the pitch. We were aware of what we were going into that day and the nature of the game and Duncan Ferguson in charge. It felt like we were going into a physical game and they beat us on that front. I'd like to think we've progressed since then, not just because of that experience but generally with the slightly young team we have at times but also some of the players we brought in and the experience. But we have to show that on the pitch. It would be wrong of me to cite the physical nature of this Everton team as the big battle we have to win because there are various battles we have to win to try and win the game. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment. Thanks for watching.